Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well, inshallah. I've not uploaded in, a, in about a month, um, and that's because I've had a very, very challenging two weeks. On the 17th of October, my cousin suddenly passed away. She was young, healthy, beautiful, and brilliant in every sense of the word. And she had no illness, there was no prior warning, nobody could have predicted her death. It was the biggest shock in our family and the biggest loss in our family in about a decade. And was just also heartbroken about it. It's still, honestly, for me, it still doesn't feel real. Um, and even for like my parents and my uncles who went for the funeral, it still doesn't feel real, you know? Like she was just so full of life and she has so many dreams and aspirations. And I, I'm making this video because I don't want to just continue filming as if nothing happened. Like our lives have now changed forever you know, you hear about tragic deaths a lot, but it's only when it really it's a member of your own family where it really, really hits you hard in the chest. And it's been very difficult to just fathom it. And uh, more than anyone else, I just please, I please ask you guys to please make the war for her, of course, that she gets the highest rank of Jannah, inshallah, Amin. But also for her mum and dad and her brother, they must be suffering so much right now, like more than I could imagine. Um, you know, it's hard for all of us, but especially for her mum, who was like her best friend as well. It's very, very difficult. And I don't want to get too much into the ins and outs. And it's a very, very, very personal thing. But um, the reason why I wanted to still put it out there was because there's still at least 2,000 people out there and the majority of you are probably Muslim. If you're not, then hello, welcome. You're, of course, you're welcome here. But please do make the dua. Please, that's all you can do. You know, I used to be one of those people, I didn't never understood when anyone lost someone close to them and they would put it on Twitter or Instagram. I didn't understand it. I was like, well, why would you, like, why is social media even appearing in your mind at that moment? But actually, after it sort of slightly started to process, I did put a post out on Instagram and over 600 people saw it, you know, um, probably even more. And I pray that all those people made the war. And that's what, that basically, that's all you can do. When someone is gone, all you can do is make the war for the person and ask other people to make the war. So that is really the reason why. And I totally understand now why it's not an attention seeking thing. It's not a oh, look at me, I'm going for a lot sort of sign. It's just a please, please make the war for that person's soul and also for their family. And actually, it just, more than anything, it shows how temporary life is. We go on and on as if we're promised tomorrow and we're sort of promised marriage and we're promised children and we're promised a career. And we just totally forget that this dunya is like, what, so short? And nobody is promised tomorrow. Nobody. The richest person in the world right now can't guarantee that they will see tomorrow. But I don't know. We just get so swept up in it. We just get so swept up in this dunya. Um, I don't want to make this video drag on. I do want to post a few more videos as and when I can, inshallah. But I did want to post this now. Mainly to ask you guys for your duas and just to let you guys know what's going on. It's very fresh still doesn't feel real at all honestly but um yeah um also i wanted to address the fact that at the end of my last video um i started showing some dresses and some clips of the bridal dress shopping and i actually did film a video all about my experience which i've kept but i'm not going to upload and the reason for that well, there's two reasons the first reason is that upon reflecting youtube isn't my job you know, I'm not making even £10 a month from YouTube. Let's put it that way. It's just not, it's not a job at all for me. 
it's a hobby and maybe if this was my job and to get more views I would talk more about it but it's not and it's something that's extremely personal to me extremely special to me um, and I don't want to spend loads of time and energy and effort focusing on vlogging when actually I should just be taking it in because then shall I only want to get married once in my life so yeah um, also I don't want to be posting about the dress experience until I've had the whole experience yes I went into one particular store yes I really really enjoyed the service there I thought they were very polite and friendly I thought that they were really helpful they weren't pushy I had a very good experience but I haven't had my dress back yet it's not due yet anyway so when the wedding is done inshallah and when I'm settled in you know the next stage of my life inshallah then I will film a few videos not on my phone like on my proper camera inshallah with lighting and I will just talk about my experience that's what I like to do I've always liked to do that since I was 18 and I started my blog I like to just share my experience and have a discussion but right now for so many reasons this is just not the right time so I hope you guys can understand that I'm gonna leave it at that I think I've said what I needed to say I hope you guys are doing well inshallah take care of yourselves and do please please keep my beautiful cousin in your du'as please pray that she is at peace and that we are all going to inshallah be reunited again in Jannah al and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!